Hey y'all, welcome um, or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. See, I got my shirt on. <laughs> um, all right, so this unstuffed thing is gonna be real quick because we don't have any money left in any category. Um, and the reason why is we took our annual trip to Sanibel and um, how I stay on budget is I use money from categories before we start using the vacation money, okay? So I used all of our eating out money. We had a softball trip that parlayed itself into our vacation. So the eating out money is gone. We used the grocery money because remember, Santa Bell is a condo. You have to cook for yourself. Um, so we use grocery money for that. We also use grocery money sometimes for eating. Gas money went to gas. We used some of the date night money to pay for the hotel um, that was needed for the softball trip. Yes, sir. You have to go out again? Hang on. I think he needs to go. Look at how big he is. And every day I have to clean that computer desk thing because his food bowl is right next to it. Oh, look at him. Y'all remember my puppy? He's not a puppy anymore. Hi, Apollo. So yes, he had to go. <laughs> All right, so mommy's fun money. Mommy's fun money got spent on me, okay? <laughs> um, I have dealt with enough mommy guilt of trying to spend money on me um, that I'm not going to allow myself not to do it. All right, so. I got a new manning petty. I went to a different place. I actually like this a whole lot better. This is more me um, than the last styles that I've been wearing. Like, I prefer a more natural look. So, this is a gel manicure. Um, I tried a mix of, so there's two coats of, um, what is it? Let me think of the name. Um, and then one coat of Funny Bunny. So, I'm going to put it up here. Um, but it's like a, a neutral, a light, light pink. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm going to put it up here. Um, I got my lashes done, this pay period, and I got a wax. So I just had to pay for the tip. Um, this is, nope. All right, so I was talking to you about mommy's fun money, but coming out of the allowance. Um, and, but allowance is empty because we use that for incentives and for the trip. All right, so now we're gonna get into the budget for this pay period, and then we'll go ahead and stuff. All right, let me go around. All right, so I have my agenda here. I have my wallet, my cash, my envelopes, and my cheat sheet. Let's go ahead and get started with the budget for this pay period. So I have a note here so I can tell you all, um, and you'll see it here. Let me zoom you in. All right, so there's a slight change in this, this pay period. It is my income is $2,469.78. That is because we got a 3.5% increase in pay. That 3.5% uh, increase turns out to be $118.64 per pay period, so not a whole lot, but an increase nonetheless. All right, so the income um, that we're gonna budget is 2,000. $2,469.78. Our bills that are coming out this pay period, we get paid next on August 5th, so there was some adjustment here because typically more comes out on this check um, but we made some adjustments. So because of the increase that we have, what we're doing this pay period is we're going to put $207 into car insurance, $25 into our phone bill. Big Girl's trip is still getting her $164. IRA is now getting an extra $50 with that increase. Um, so we're going to put $100 into the IRA. Life insurance is still getting $129.08. The mommy makeover fund, because it was extra money, is going to get $100 this check. Buffer is $31.70 for a total of $756.78 for our biweekly bills. 
Um, our cash envelopes are the same. We had gas getting $200, eating out getting $150, Tide getting $300, extra money getting $30, um, Mommy's Fun Money getting $200 for a total of $880. So in the last video that I did when I lost all my footage, I was telling you all that no matter what Creflo Dollar says, I'm going to tithe, and that is because tithe is not being done out of obligation for me. It's being done out of desire, desire to please God, desire to help. So whether I tithe to the church or I tithe to a body that is part of the body of Christ, I'm still giving my first fruits, okay? Um, and so that's for me. Sinking funds. Uh, their vacation is getting $100, Christmas is getting $17, school is getting $17, birthday is getting $17, home maintenance, doctor and car all getting $17, personal is getting $21 for a total of $223. And then our emergency fund, this pay period gets $610. I could have increased the emergency fund um, to give it $710 instead of putting the mommy makeover fund there, but that mommy makeover is coming up quickly, so I need to make sure that that is taken care of. And so that's what we're doing here. Um, so when this mommy makeover is done and all of the aftercare is done, then I will either put this money toward um, the emergency fund to build it up, make sure we have everything that we need in the emergency fund, or I'll increase the IRA amount that's going. Um, I also, at some point, need to increase the life insurance for us to make sure that we are fully covered. But this is what we have right now, okay? Um, so if you're interested, this printable is on my Etsy shop. Hey, Y'all come shop with me. The stickers are not from um, the Etsy shop. I just added those there. You can add whatever you want to your printable. Um, and then you'll have, it's undated or, yeah, it's undated. So you just have the months here and you can use them year over year. All right, so let's go ahead and get to stuffing. Let me zoom you back out. So most recently, I started back vlogging on my fasting journey. Um, because I wanted to get right and like get back to my best shape for my mommy makeover. So I will be um, including those back on the channel. And then from there, I'll um, vlog during the recovery. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing the recovery of the mommy makeover. So the mommy, mommy makeover is happening in October. So when I give you all my annual, um, the Santa Bell trip, you'll see some footage of me vlog, uh, vlogging about fasting, how it's going, what I'm doing, why I restarted. So the teller this time asked me if doing this cash base budget helps to save money. Um, I told her that I didn't think that it saved me anything, but it did keep me on budget. What do y'all think? Does it help you save by being on a cash base budget? So she gets the little cheat sheet. And so she sees that I have every category accounted for um, what's going into each category things like that. So what do you think? Um, I told her, I, I think because it has 
every dollar has a name. You now know where your money is going. And so instead of mindlessly spending, you're telling your, yourself, okay, I, I have a forced scarcity for my income. And that's because I want to save. But I don't necessarily think that living this way results in saving um, if you don't have the desire to do so. I don't know. Y'all sign off in the comments. Let me know what you think. All right. So eating out for the family is going to get $100. It's going to get 320s. I'm going to get 320s for myself. And then 120 for um, the extra family money. Family is going to get two tens. This is coming out of the joint account. Two tens is going to um, the personal money. The extra money, I'm sorry, that I'm adding to the to that account. Um, fives, we're going to do three fives. Three fives over here for me. One five for the family. And then we're going to do five ones for the family. This is coming out of the joint account. Five for my personal account. That's just for me to eat out. Five for the family. It's also coming from my personal account for the family to eat out. So this should be 50. 30, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. All right, so we're going to fold that. Put this in the front. This should be a hundred. This is going to go here. This is a hundred. This is going to get folded to go in the back. This is the eating out money. It's not going to go into the wallet. <laughs> if I can open it up. So it's going to go back there like that. Okay. Groceries is going to get two $100 bills, two $20 bills, two $5 bills for $250 for the pay period. Um, we are, we still have food left over from the trip. So we're going to use that this pay period. Um, and then we'll see how we can do for next pay period, because I think I might just do a shop your pantry challenge. Um, I think we have enough here. Sorry about that. Y'all I hit the, the phone. Um, I think we have enough here in our freezer that I should be able to make some meals out of whatever we have. Gas is going to get $200 bills. And then this is going to go into my account. Date night is going to get a 50, a 20, and a 5 for $75 for whenever we go out on another date. Um, our last date was really, really fun. Uh, I might insert some pictures here to show you all. Went out with our couples, friends. Mommy's fun money is going to get... 250s, 320s, 210s, 35s, and then 51s. One. Two hundred. Allowance is going to get a 10, a 5, 5 ones for big girl, 10 ones for my son, 
almost done stuffing the wallet. We got 150 for aftercare for my mom. Um, but listen, since she's been out, told her, ma'am, since we've had to watch our own kids this summer, um, we are going to hold on to this money. She was like, okay, fine, girl. <laughs> um, and so she's been watching them some days. Some days we've been watching them um, doing field trip, fun activities with them or what have you. So mama's not really getting um, every pay period. But most of them she has. All right. So I need my sinking funds. Hold on. All right. So we have the sinking funds. So we're going to do 100 going into vacation. We are going on a trip to Maine soon. So I'll be taking you all with us there. Um, Maine is going to be like end of September. So we're going to do 50, 60, and a 5 from the joint money. This is going into home repair. And then you have my 10, 5, and two ones for the $17. So it should be $82. It's going into home repair. Yep, $82 home repair. We have a 50 for aftercare that's going to go into the school account plus the 17. So that's $67. That's going into school. That's going to be great because we got to do back to school shopping soon. We're in Florida, so our tax free holidays should be coming up. So we're going to go to a couple of outlets to get them what they need. $25 is going to be folded. That's going to go toward my phone. $21 is personal. That's going to go toward the Peloton. Two twenties and a five goes to Big Girl forty five dollars. This is for her car. We just had to spend some money, um, but it came out of our emergency fund to be able to get her new tires on her car. All right. So now we have. Oh, I was almost about to ask where this extra twenty come from. That's the extra money that needs to go in the wallet. That's $30. Almost forgot about that. All right, so let's do this again. All right, so 17 is going to go into birthday. Next birthday is um, baby girls. She's turned 10, so she gets her party. 17 goes into Christmas. She wants a horse theme party. 17 goes into car. And then 17 goes to doctor. So we're going to give her a horse themed birthday party. She is going to be super excited about that. Um, we already have the location picked out. I have the decorations. And now we just have to figure out what kind of food we're going to get. All right. So if you all are interested in the videos that I told you are soon to come, down up in the comment section. Let me know if you want me to keep doing it. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see from this channel. Because by the end of this year, we're going to be phasing out of... Um, the emergency fund, we're going to be phasing into making sure that we are in baby steps four, five, and six. So we're not, next year, we're going to be phasing into making sure college funds are set up. We are fully investing into retirement at a minimum of 15%. Um, and what is six? <laughs> Kids. Oh, paying off the house. <laughs> Forgot about that. That's six. Um, all right. So until next time, journey on.